Ohio State taking on Iowa State. This is the Midwest region. The Buckeyes, the 11 seed, worst in school history. But what know it from watching them. Caleb Wesson and one. Ohio State up five after the made free throw. Wesson had 21 points in this game. How about Keyshawn Woods? Keyshawn Woods has picked a great time to come alive. 19 points tied for his most as a Buckeye puts Ohio State up by four. They're still up four when Lindell Wigington hits the three. Cyclones within one. It was a three-point game. Caleb Wesson at the line. Chance to seal the deal. He misses it. And so now one last chance for the Cyclones. Nick Weiler, Bab, does not go. And Ohio State wins it 62-59. Chris Holtman on how his team survived. It was a whale of a game, that's for sure. Um, you know, players win games, and our, our guys stepped up and made so many key plays against an Iowa State team that's had a terrific season. Caleb was tremendous in terms of his imposing himself. I thought that was so important uh, for, for, for that to happen really throughout the game. Uh, if he if he didn't impose himself physically, I thought we could really struggle uh, just to keep pace with uh, as high octane as they are. I imposed myself because of my preparation. You know, I, my coaches and my teammates, they prepare me hard every day in practice. They push me to finish shots that sometimes it's hard to finish, you know. And guys, when you have that, it just makes for easy basketball. And so the Buckeyes will get Houston, coached by Kelvin Sampson, former Indiana head coach, the Cougars, the three seed that be in the late window on Sunday. And again, you win that one, you move on to face either Kentucky or Wofford in the Sweet 16. Man, Caleb Wesson was really something in this game, Sean. His third double-double of the year. You see what an enormous difference he makes. I mean, the contrast between what they were down the stretch while he was suspended and what they've been with him back is significant. Yeah, they were able to play through him down there on the block, and in addition to putting up a double-double, he really took care of the basketball. So much runs through him that sometimes he can struggle if he's not strong with the ball. That was not the case versus Iowa State. Only one turnover. They tried to run a bunch of different doubles at him. He handled them each very, very well. That was the story on the offensive end as well as Musa Jallo, but the other thing that hops out at me to you, Jess, as I take a look at this, this is a team in Iowa State that likes to get up and down the floor. Ohio State holds them to nearly 20 points under their average, and more importantly for a team that likes transition, only five fast break points for the Cyclones. And one of the reasons that happened was because of Keyshawn Woods. Every championship caliber team needs a player like Keyshawn Woods. He's a coach's dream, and he came out tonight and was just spectacular both ends of the floor. Not just 19 points, played 39 minutes and guarded every time, every possession. Yeah, and defense is what's going to have to win it for this mm -hmm. team. I mean, they yeah. know they're not great offensively. They were locked in at that end. They managed to win with their fewest points in an NCAA tournament victory since 1971.